give me a home where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play where seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day wow all right steve <laughs> feel any different i certainly do Maybe that song brought back some memories, or maybe it made you want to move your body or dance, or maybe you felt like singing along. The fact is, music has the power to change us emotionally, physically, and mentally. As Richie said, I'm a happy camper because I finally found my life's work. I bring music into the lives of others. Every day, I witness how the magic of music brightens seniors' faces. Although not a certified music therapist nor a neuroscientist, I will share my understanding of the neurological effects of music on the brain. Brain imagery, such as MRIs, have allowed us to see what many of us already know. Music strongly affects us socially, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Music is used effectively to enhance education, sports performance, psychological processes, physical therapy, and simply mood. Every time I play with my senior peeps, their eyes light up, their moods lift, their bodies move as much as they are able, and most fascinatingly, those who have lost their ability to speak can sing, and those who might not walk can move. Just holding a simple percussion instrument can make a difference. In the past 15 to 20 years, brain imaging, such as MRIs, have revealed what most of us already sense. Music lights up most parts of the brain. Whereas we can isolate the areas of the brain for speech or movement or emotion, MRIs show us that the entire brain lights up. We owe a great deal of credit to the late Dr. Oliver Sacks, a brilliant and brave neuroscientist who was also a classical musician. Dr. Sacks theorized about the functions of various parts of the brain by studying brain abnormalities, such as those damaged by injury, stroke, or as a result of surgery. In the fascinating PBS Nova documentary, Musical Minds, which I would highly recommend, Dr. Sachs records his own brain activities, brainwave activities using MRI. He would measure brain activity while listening to classical music and most intriguing, simply imagining the music. In both cases, his entire brain would light up. Another well-known neuroscientist who has contributed greatly to our understanding of music in the mind is Daniel Levitin, a rock and roller, comedian, and brilliant author. Levitin demonstrates how memory and music are connected. He saw the nearly identical patterns of brain activity when listening to music and when remembering music. During music activity, the first couple of notes serve as cues to initiate patterns of activity in various parts of the brain, including regions which keep track of the interval size and space between pitches, the information needed to recognize melody. Also activated is the hippocampus, a structure highly correlated with memory encoding and retrieval. Levitin observed that the cerebellum, the most primitive part of our brain associated with timing and movement, takes on an active role of tracking the beat of a song. It becomes an acti it comes active in response to liking or finding music familiar. The cerebellum has a strong connections to the amygdala associated with memory of emotional events and the frontal lobe responsible for executive function. Notice the location of these regions. What this means for you and me is music literally wakes up our brains. For those in the later stages of dementia, this can be magical. People who haven't spoken in days are able to sing songs word for word. Those who can't walk, tap a foot or finger to the beat. I know my own dear departed father was strongly and positively affected by music. At one point, his Parkinson's kept him from walking. But when we'd sing a song with dad that was recognizable and with a strong beat, he could count and he could move his feet to the beat of the music and take a step. True magic. 
While Parkinson's is a neurological disease caused by the lack of dopamine in the brain, thus interfering with the circuitry of the brain, Alzheimer's is literally brain damage. The tissues simply dry up. The two hemispheres separate. Here is an illustration of the difference between a normal brain and one with Alzheimer's. Here are actual cadaver brains. The Alzheimer's patient brain is literally shrunking and missing entire regions. This is brain damage. The parts of the brain that control speech, movement, logic, etc., are simply no longer there. The resulting simile, seemingly difficult behavior in the patient is a result of brain damage, not uncooperativeness. That's where music comes in. Change is immediate. Here's a photo from the movie Alive Inside, another excellent move and moving example of how music literally wakes up the listener. I'm sure you're reminded of your own experiences with someone with a cognitive disability and the positive effects music can have. But even with normal brain functioning, music can make a difference. Music is used in education, sports, and counseling, such as treatment for PTSD. For example, drumming together or singing together creates a sense of tranquility and community like no other. Indeed, what would the civil rights movement be without music such as We Shall Overcome? In all major social movements, music is the, at the core and brings people together. As science shows us, singing or playing music together creates an increased sense of openness, togetherness, belonging, sharing, connectedness, and intimacy. Babies are born sophisticated mini musicians. As other, any mother can tell you, babies respond to different pitch and rhythm. They recognize difference between soothing sounds and dissonance. Perhaps you've seen those hilarious YouTubes of babies listening to different types of music. If not, Google it. Music. A mind-altering noise with the potential to induce joy, happiness, memories, bliss, merriment, and mirth. It's better than Prozac. Keep listening. Keep playing. No need to ask your doctor. Just sing along. Oh, give me a home. There you go. Where the buffalo roam and the deer and the antelope play. Yeah. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all That's right, cause sing along Here comes Home, home on the range Where the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard a discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day 